What's up guys, Ligaya Rossru here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Ligaya. In the last episode, we were introduced to our first character named Vaughn. We explored the village and we learned how to fight. So let us go ahead and talk to the village elder and see what is happening behind the walls of Rim Elm. Oh Vaughn, so you came to check on the wall, did you? This wall has protected Rim Elm from the mist for over 10 years. Hopefully it will stay standing forever. I doubt it. Ah, quite impressive. Look how many, look how many puny humans survive. Pathetic humans. Uh, you know who teleported into our sweet, sweet little village, and we haven't done a damn thing to you. In this desolate place, you thought this flimsy wall would protect you from the mist? Humans, you are but insects. The time has come to abandon your foolish resistance. Suck a dick. I am Zeto. I have come to bring the salvation of the mist to you miserable creatures. And then Tetsu tries to be a badass and attacks him. You were courageous, but it wasn't enough, Tetsu. I have tried so many times to uh, actually let's play this game a while back, uh, which is what I should have said in the first episode, but I just couldn't, I didn't like how it was uh, going, and plus at the time when I was recording this, there is a girl who found me through YouTube who, uh, who got super jealous and shit. And started questioning of a video game character. I go to talk about this character in this game. And she got super jealous, so that's why I ended up quitting this project for a while. This is Taib Suru, followers of the mist. It is time for you to attack. Suru, destroy that old Sihor. Sci uh, Sihor? Oh my god, another list for the list of mistakes. Eyesore. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. All you're doing is just pecking the thing to death. Save yourselves by accepting this series. I can't even read. I am deeply sorry. Serenity. Serenity of the mist without resistance. And then here we get to our first battle. Our first actual battle. And here we are met, met with our first enemy, the Grimmerd. Uh, do not attack low, because they actually, they, they levitate, so. Um. So yeah. Oh, never mind. I thought you could... Okay, uh, I'm trying to remember the, uh, the arts off the top of my head that I need to learn. Yeah, yeah, uh. What? Yeah, uh. Okay, there's one. Power punch. Oh, hyper elbow, that's what it is. Oh, okay. When you see an enemy fall, that means, that tells them, that means they are almost dead. Like that so they are almost dead these guys have about 200 HP um, no do not auto okay so we have won our first battle uh, every character that you get that that you have they have different battle and positions so there was one of them where he just throws his arm now what we uh, what you can do is uh, you can fight off all these uh, grimmers if you want to ex receive experience um, 
or you can immediately go to the Genesis tree and wipe out the mist. Uh, I believe there are very few enemies we can meet here, so I want to try and do that in this episode. Um, yeah, you can see that the Genesis tree is glowing, so what we can do is uh, just go there if we wanted to. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, it says this is a turn-based RPG, the battles will take forever. Alright, here we get a new enemy, Gobu Gobu. Um, I just learned a new art called the Hyper Elbow, or the Power Punch. I just need to learn the, I just need to learn the, uh, the three button art, which is, a uh, Slash Kick. Um, they're relatively weak, actually, uh, the Gobu Gobu, just remember, be careful, because these guys can steal items from you. And uh, I believe there are I believe there's one more enemy we can meet here if I'm if I recall correctly. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> now there goes one other there goes the other battle animation right there. Okay, let's see here. Uh, I actually can grind. Uh, I, I could get to another battle and grind, but since I want to save some of my items, let's go ahead and revive this Genesis tree. I'm so glad to see you. I was all alone. I came here to get away from the sewer monsters. Hey, have you noticed the mist that... Have you noticed that the mist doesn't come in here? The, the Genesis tree is glowing. Ish, I can't even talk. I shouldn't be reading any of the text because I can't read. It's radiating some kind of amazing power. G the Genesis tree is very warm, Vaughn. Go ahead and touch it. Okay. Vaughn gently touches the trunk of the Genesis tree. Something is speaking softly into Vaughn's mind. Vaughn. Vaughn, you're Vaughn, are you not? How did Tetsu get up there? He was on the ground. He was literally on the ground, and then he just went up to the village elder's house. I have read your thoughts. I am speaking to your mind. I am Meta, a Rosteru. I have been waiting inside this Genesis tree for someone like you. I ask you, Vaughn, do you wish to save your people from the mist? I've never answered the question. I've never answered this question with a no. Because I don't know what will happen if I said no. So I'm just going to go say yes. Good. By combining our powers, we will rid the whole world of the mist. Let us pursue the same destiny as human and Rossi working together. Yes. Vaughn, open your mind. Feel my presence. <sighs> awesome. The approach... The approaching mist is killing the Genesis tree. I am too weak. I need the life force of the Genesis tree to be strong. To revive the Genesis tree, we need the power to change destiny, the power of a human spirit. Vaughn, hurry and assemble everyone here. Okay. Okay, so what we'll do is, uh, Go gather some people. First I go to May's house. They all went to check on the wall, but I still haven't come back. Vaughn, what happened? The mist is here. What should we do? Let's go to my house. There's nothing you can do for your father right now, May. He's actually dead. He did a good thing, Vaughn. May, May must have been uneasy all by herself. 
if my cursed body were not crippled like this. Oh, sorry, you get a piece of Texas covering over there. Apparently, I'm still signed into PS3. Um, I know that's probably a bad idea for me to do that, but oh, I don't care. Okay. And then Tetsu's uh, on the... He's guarding uh, for any... Um, what is it? For any Suru to come. You and the Ross are our last hope. We entrust you with our lives. And when we must pray together. <laughs> okay. Now we can actually talk to everyone here. I don't know if they'll actually give us anything, but... How pathetic I am and trusting a kid like you with my life. Shut up, dude. You're lucky to even be alive, you little fucking faggot. I should just kill you right now if I wanted to. I've got a roster on my arm. I don't care if it's a roster or whatever you call it, just hurry up. Better than this fucking douchebag. Okay, so there goes Tetsu fighting off the Suru. Alright. Let's go ahead and revive the Genesis tree. Let's touch the Genesis tree. Awaken Genesis tree. Remember the instant the heavens and the earth were born. <sighs> Open your mind. Pray hard. Aw, oh, snap. Awesome. Awesome. God, dude, I, I just love the trees. Like, it's so awesome how it just comes, it just like becomes like a, uh, like nothingness and then it grows to become really big and beautiful. It's, it's just awesome like that. It, it's amazing. Thank you. Thanks to Vaughn and the people of Rim Elm, the Genesis tree has been revived. The Genesis tree has the power to drive away the mist and make and to make a roster like me stronger. The mist has left Rim Elm, but it still covers the rest of the earth. Many Genesis trees wait to be revived. Vaughn, let us leave from up together and look for those Genesis trees. Yeah. And then after that, he faints into consciousness. Brother? Don't worry, he's just in a deep sleep. How peaceful he looks. He must be dreaming about something nice. Vaughn. <laughs> Here we get to another sad tune. And our friend Juno, the hateful fangs of the Suru, took their lives from them. Oh man, this song is so awesome. To Ferdy, god of the sea, we entrust their bodies. But Rim, our leader, our great leader, on your sacred wings, take the noble souls of, the, of our friends to the valley of Noaru. May their souls find peace and eternal happiness in the distant valley of Noari. I said village, did I? 
Apparently I can't read. God, this, this song is so awesome. I really like this song. I'm sorry, May. Oh, damn. Already had a sad part of the game, and we just started the game. Like I said, this is my. This game just has amazing music, whether it's happy music, where it's sad music. Oh, such an amazing game. I really wish people would know more about this game. I mean, it's such an awesome game. Oh, come on, mate. Don't cry. Mommy, where is Juno and the others going? To the Valley of Nawaru, dear. Far, far away beyond the sea. Is Juno going to come back? Will he bring us good things to eat again? Probably not. Kid doesn't really understand death. To someone, when someone dies, they never come back. But it's it, they eventually find out later in life, which does hurt. So. A Genesis tree and a Rosaru. We had some pretty important things here in Rim Elm. Vaughn, Rim Elm was saved thanks to you. You were truly courageous and I thank you again. However, it's about our precious May. Her mother may still be alive inside the mist. If you have pity on May, then rescue her mother. If you say yes, I'll tell the rest of the story. Uh, yes, let us hear. Oh, thank you. Now, even May doesn't know this, but... May's mother, Maya, used to work at Baron, Baron Monastery 10 years ago when the menace came. And naturally, we lost all contact with her. As for whether Baron Monastery itself still survives in the mist, unfortunately, no one knows, but Maya is a surviving blood relative. Yeah. We have to go rescue May's mother. Who is living in Baron Monastery? Yes. I like how this theme just keeps playing throughout the whole thing. The power of the Genesis tree will save us all from Miss Wona. It has to. Of course it will. And May locked herself inside the house. Okay, now, since I couldn't show you last episode, let's uh, go in here. Oh, look, my sister's on. Now, we can buy a knife. We can buy a warrior seal. And we can buy boots. We can also buy healing leaves. Antidote, a cure amulet, which cures all... Uh, which nullifies all venom attacks, uh, with pretty much uh, preventing you from being poisoned. Uh, and the door of light actually teleports you out of dungeons. I normally don't like those because I hate teleporting out of dungeons uh, unless I have to. Now, this is why I tell you to save your magic items, like your magic healing items. The magic leaf costs 500. Uh, it costs. A thousand gold originally and it it's uh it's buying back it, you're buying it back for uh we're selling it for 500 so that's half of what it costs so it's pretty expensive to buy this and gold is gold uh it's hard to grind for gold in this game so but there's that also i forgot to buy some stuff buy this and then buy the warrior seal 
don't really need the boost right now because uh you know also in this game there's uh there's a thing called your upper defense and your lower defense your upper defense consists of your torso and your arms really because uh you can't attack high and low in this game and your lower defense is, ju is just your legs so I would suggest finding some items or uh, finding some good armor for you to equip some of these things like you know the, uh, like boots because those increase your lower defense okay now let us go ahead and return home see what we have to do Talk to you, father. I still don't believe what happened yesterday. I never knew the Genesis tree had such powers. I know not what hid I know not what hidden powers that Suru has in your right arm on your right arm has. All this is too confusing for an old man like me, but I have faith in you. You have brought hope to Rim Elm in its darkest hour. As your father, I am very proud of a brave man like had you had you have become whatever you decide to do from now on. This will always be your home, and you will always be my son. Never forget that. That is awesome. No one will be called Mr. anymore, right? <laughs> now, uh, all I have to do is just leave the village. But that will all happen in the next episode of Let's Play Legend of Gaia. So, until then, this is Legaia Rossi signing out. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. Take care.